All right, we are back, and this is the big scrapbook. Now, your mom put most of this yes. all together, right? Yep. This is great-grandparents and the styles. They dressed up when they wanted to for pictures. And there's my mother, grandfather, and grandmother. Oh, and here's Uncle Marn when he was looked like when he got married. No, the name's Marshall. Mar Marshall C. Mar Jordan. Uh, Bob's middle name was Marshall. All right, here's the original Albert Watson who died with the horse thing and his wife, Belle, and my dad and his full plaid sister who died young. She only lived to be a three or four. So he ended up one child until she remarried, George Robbins, and uh, had Beulah and Mar uh, Ruby. That's the picture I got uh, on my computer, where he's not like that, but a little younger than that, sitting with my grandfather's lap on a family portrait. He, and I was only looked like about two months old at that time. But these are when he was older. Yeah, here they are together, him and his sister. And this is at a rock quarry somewhere out there. And there's Uncle Marn. And, oh, they saved everything. Uh, Watson Newball. This is looks like it their the wedding. Their wedding announcement. announcement yeah, yeah uh, looks like they got married. I like they, this picture. Yeah, they really look good. 1931. Was it like a church? The church? Oh, yeah. Catholic Church, that church. Uh, it says St. Joseph's Catholic yeah. Church. And here's Father Knievel, who did it. And these look like high school pictures of her senior year. This is, I think, Annie Hattie, isn't it? She's got her face featured. And it says Mother at 18. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shirt. <laughs> oh, boy. My handiwork, you don't want to see that. <laughs> you, know, you can yeah. write your name at an early age. Yeah. And there she is with two of us. That's one of the three brats, three little brats. Oh, Bob and I were born at home. Mike was born at the hospital. This is the old front of the old hospital. It was on Avenue H. So he was the only hospital board. Do they have like a Tommy. like a midwife or somebody come, or is it just your mom and? Good or, question. Just know. probably just old Doc Daring. Maybe Aunt Hattie helped. I don't know. <laughs> oh my! Now you can see how good I did in school here. Can I read your report card? Let me see. <laughs> I see a lot of C's. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a good boy. <laughs> Yeah, only one D in penmanship, which is funny because oh. I always liked your writing. Oh. <laughs> That's mom. Great. Oh, yeah. Perfect attendance. Oh, yeah. This is at Sacred Heart School. So you went to Sacred Heart oh, for, uh, grade school? Kindergarten at Jefferson, which was right there at the end of Avenue G, behind our house, a couple blocks. There's a schoolyard and a ballpark. Uh, the school's probably been torn down by now. Anyway, I went to kindergarten there and then started first grade and second grade there. Through sixth grade, I went to that school. And uh, seventh grade, I went up to St. Joe's. A lot of your schoolwork. Wow, I did pretty good. Yeah. Premium senior health. Just what I need, premium health. Oh, be, grades here are better. Are they? Well, there's there's some A's, Ooh. a lot more B's. So looks like you're you're doing better. This is third grade. <laughs> third grade. Right. I must have woke up. Oh. Hey, now that's probably a great hire. It, it, I think this is the whole school. It's, yeah, right. Oh, the perfect attendance group or something. Another report card. And there's a, the classrooms. What they look like. You remember those old desks that uh, uh, had the book underneath slid and it had, had an angle and the inkwell and the pencil tray? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Cindy's losing his hair here. Here, my old favorite stars, Gene Autry. 
Well, didn't he come to the rodeo? At... He was rodeo number one. Did you see him there in Fort oh, Madison? I probably did, but I don't remember. How are my grades now? Better. Consistent. <laughs> That's my writing. Wow. <laughs> and this is the probably the bishop. And there's our sleds. And ooh, here's the girl, a little blonde girl, Rose Marie Ludolph. Ludolph. A cutoff we cousin? Went, cousin. When we went down to Westphalia, Kansas, okay. on Santa Fe Railroad, we had passes to go Kansas City, catch a different train, go straight towards Phoenix, but you go through Westphalia and Gallup. Now, Slope Park, I don't know what is that. Kansas City. Oh, okay. It says, uh, stopped here on trip to Westphalia, Kansas. Yeah, Westphalia. Yeah. Now we got out to Arizona. This is Uncle Larry, who loved, had to go out there for his health. He loved a son and his wife, Ruby. Like, I don't know who this is, but I'm guessing. You could probably, maybe they, they wrote something on her. Jean Eddy. She had a sister named Wilma Eddy. And the guy I worked with, in the newspaper office, married her. And I thought, oh boy, what a match. <laughs> Dick Audie. <laughs> it's got your uh, contract from the Democrat carrier. When did you do that? Oh, I started at 11, I think. That's uh, Peterson, circulation manager. Oh, Pete Peterson. He handled the newspaper boys. And he had enough of them. There must have been 40 or so of them to handle the whole town. <laughs> Good old days. Oh, John Newell dies today. Paul Fessenkamper. Yeah, he got wounded. His buddy that went into service with him got killed. His name was uh, Maury Arthur. Yeah, they were buddies growing up in high school. And he they stuck it together through the war until he got to Saipan and got killed. Oh, here's our basketball star. Uh, Bob Delaney, is it? Yeah. He was good. He wasn't tall, but he was a fast player. Yeah, that's when I got to high school. Here, <laughs> the boys dressed up. I, of course, had to wear my scout uniform with my old broad rim and hat, <laughs> which eventually faded out. Nobody wore them anymore. <laughs> oh, boy. Down at Camp Eastman, down by Nabu, who we went to camp five years straight. And that was our one and only vacation, get to go to Boy Scout camp, away from the parents. So I went five straight years there, 45 through 40. Was that in all summer, or a couple weeks? No, it was just one week, and you had to pay to go. Tom McBob me <laughs> with my collar. And these are the people we went out to Kansas to see. Yeah. That was cute. It looks like I had a Christmas savings club, you know, put in a dollar or two a week. So you had Christmas money to spend. You got seven dollars and seventy-five cents from the Democrat and twenty-five dollars from customers. Uh, customers. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas presents. I don't know what the uh, cost of conversion <laughs> is for now, but that's probably not bad. Okay. Mm. The classmates looks like Paige. Well, here's Bonita. And here's my aunt Bonnie Anita. And this is Maury Bellman. I ran around with. This is Eddie Wilmersmeyer. He was actually a cousin. One of his mother was one of my grandma's sisters. And Ted Warner. That's uh, Joe Birch. Hi, Joe. I think he's still kicking. <laughs> and here, another cousin, Rhoda Kumeyer. This is uh, Connie Roxlaw. She's one of the last women living. She lives in near Davenport on a farm. And this guy here is the same as this one here. Okay. It's Maury Billman. And Bob Weimer, that anime, Ghost Camper, Dick Smith, and me. <laughs> Here's Paul Fearing. He died young, real young. Remember the Boy Scout pictures I had of uh, the Beaver Patrol? Mm -hmm. uh, five of us, Bob and I and Paul uh, Fearing and Prescott Smith. Oh, there's that's Leora Eide. Uh, this Paul again getting out of the service. Oh, boy. She, she didn't throw anything away. Just too much. 
The Boy Scouts receive awards at Record Court of Honor here. Oh boy, it's a whole write up. Just you on the basketball team there? Or? No, I never made a first team. And some of my classmates did, I think Paul. This is uh, Al Vonderhaar, who was a coach. And uh, the star, I think, was here. Tom Ping. He was six foot something. We had a pretty good team that year. It was a couple of years before I got into it. Yeah, don't take that out. But that looks like a picture of you in the school band? The school band, yeah. And what'd you play? I would play the clarinet. I'm trying to see if I'm in there. But, and that's Tommy Lou Green. He would play the sax. That's Kay Smith. Maybe I didn't make that picture. <laughs> wasn't good enough. We got to play at the Davenport Music Festival. And then we had a concert. And he wrote and played that. And I don't know if that's Tommy Lou Green or not. They're getting faded. And it looked like Kay. Kay and Rhoda had a thing in high school. <laughs> Uh, too much. And took a big picture with the dog. There's a tree and sled. Baby Tommy's first Christmas. Oh my. Yeah, he go along uh, a few years later. <laughs> In high school when he came by. I don't think his kids even knew he was coming. <laughs> uh, somebody sitting here holding the baby. But... Well, it's you. Okay. Oh, here's my first girlfriend. She had freckles. Carlene Reader, first girlfriend in high school. No car. Walked her from the dry dock home to the, she lived near St. Mary's. Whatever happened to Carlene? Carlene. I have no idea. I saw her once when I went home and played golf. She was in the clubhouse. And we talked for a half hour <laughs> between nine holes. And that's the last I saw of her. Well, there's a lot of girls on this page here. Oh, yeah. I think that's uh, Dorothy Patton, and uh, this is Kay Miller. This is a girl I dated shortly. She lived up on West Point Hill. Well, about two miles down the road, she lived. I walked there. Her daddy took me home. <laughs> I had a crush on her. You can get the calling cards in here yet. She, she saved everything. There you are, the mailing room staff. I, uh, this is the gestograph machine where you slide the papers across and print the addresses for the post office. Was this at school or no, the newspaper? newspaper, down in a dungeon in the basement. Yeah, and that's where I finished out to high school, working for the newspaper. Oh, and here's our, oh, this, this is a sad one. You won't believe this. My mother, father had a cousin named uh, June, and her, she married a guy named Glenn Gorman. And their son here looks like his dad, head on collision. Bridal couple killed in collision near Airfield, which is where they were living. Yep, that was sad. Pronger. Louis, Austin, and Art, three boys. One of Grandma's sisters married a uh, Pronger. He died young, I think. He lived almost to the West Point Hill, almost to Burlington. He lived outside of West Point about a mile, out on a farm. <laughs> Another one of our Christmas club books. <laughs> and these were our good days. Our team was really doing real good. Joe Hawks, what we were called, won five straight. We played Warsaw, Illinois, Riverside, St. Mary's. Don't look like me, but yes, it is. <laughs> they put the better players in the back row when they're taller. At least I got my picture in it. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to tape it? Here's a spoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she saved everything. And we had a school paper, Hawk Talk. Now, you worked on the school paper, right? No, mm, I don't think so. I wouldn't admit it if I did. Why is there a spoon with that letter? I don't know. You have to read it. Find it. Right. We had a picnic at Sugar Creek. Drove to West Point. Franklin and Burlington, Iowa. Here's my one and only souvenir from a Dairy Queen Sunday. Mm. <laughs> I better say that and use it. Oh, in the newspaper if you want to read it. 
why did you save that one? Is there, are you have a poem in there or an article? No. <laughs> Your name must be in that somewhere, Harold. Oh, yeah, but I got my finger all the way through it. Too much crap. Looks like you tripped to Springfield. Yeah, that was a class day. It's all <coughs> Lincoln's uh, home in Springfield. This is the capital. <laughs> My nickname. <laughs> it says Squeaky. What's the story behind Squeaky? My voice was high, I guess. Only thing I can think of. Somebody gave it to me. Too much junk. There's a senior prom, junior and senior prom. Oh my. You and Bob in Texas. <laughs> and here's some more. Perfect attendance. You... Yeah, I got two of them already. I was a good little boy. Oh boy. Here's the senior pictures. But this is the cousin, <coughs> Anna Mae Grossengaber. She lives in Florida. She's probably dead now. Rhoda went to California. She is dead. Sherry Johnson showed up for the reunion. She lives out in Phoenix, Arizona. Tommy Smith, uh, oh, come on. Victor. Is this Alvin? Yeah, Alvin Myrato. Myrato. And Ted Werner, he's the doctor's son. Became a lawyer. Cousin Eddie Womansmeyer. Paul Ferring, who died young. And Terry DeCourcy, who dropped out of school. He was a wild kid. Ah, Connie, Bonnie. There's my buddy I grew up with. Richie Link, he went to public high school. Maury Bellman and Marvin Newey. Enjoy. <laughs> Looks like you're about to graduate. These are all your graduation cards. Yeah. So. Throw nothing away. Aren't you glad that she saved them? That was real sweet of her. Well, yeah, it was, but at the time I didn't give a darn. <laughs> oh, this is Grandma's had a sister that became a nun, and Mother House was in Chain of Rocks. Bridge, St. Louis. She lived down there. They had a convent down there. It was well, on the river. Sister Hugona. All right, so looks like we've got Gem City Business College. When and why did you go to Gem City Business College? Oh, and I got out of graduated high school. Folks says, okay, time to go to work or go to school. And I says, well, I got a whole $500. I want to go to business school because I couldn't afford a regular college. And that's where I went, Quincy, Illinois. Stayed at the Y and night clerk and spent about two years down there. Got my uh, accounting degree. You know, I wanted to go into accounting, but when you're 20 years old, who wants to hire you? <laughs> There's the, the house. Let's see together. <laughs> you want to put this up somewhere? Please do not disturb. From the YMCA, Quincy, Illinois. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'm glad you saved that. Uh, do you live on this farm? The Democrat would take a picture of an aerial shot of a farm, and you can call in and win some money, I guess. Yeah, 32 in cash and 416 in gifts. <laughs> it was two farms closer to West Point. And yeah, there's the house on that side of the road. And highway wasn't 61, I don't know what it was called. Went right past it. The house was there, the garage was there, and the barns were across the road. And that's where she raised uh, three boys. Louis, Art, and Austin. Louis went to, where was it, Tennessee or somewhere, but Nashville, he went somewhere south and he got a career. Oh, yeah. Here's the shot that we liked. All for four Indians, all dressed in their scout uniforms. Yes. Tommy's cowboy outfit. <laughs> These are all my shots, I suppose. Business management, 91%. What's that? Was that from the business column? I'm assuming. What does W.A. Schaefer say? Hmm. Thank you for showing an interest in working with Schaefer's. <laughs> but but... It never did. <laughs> at this present time. So these must have been your uh, applications. applications. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. written at the YMCA, Quincy, Illinois, February the 20th, 1951. <laughs> what did I tell Grandma? <laughs> Dear Mom. Mom, you better something this one, you better keep this one in the scrapbook. 
I talked to VG, and he says I'll oh, write mu- some. Musclemen. I'll write some letters tomorrow to Dupont, Schaefer, Santa Fe, telling your mom you're looking hard for a job. I'm looking for work. <laughs> That's what she wanted to hear. Yeah. Oh, here's Paul Fless's wedding picture in here. Yeah, Doris and Paul. Well, this is you and a date in a white dress. She's wearing glasses. Mm. You've got a I nice can't. corsage going on. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I don't see any names. I can't. Get a magnifying glass. Yeah. Oh. I can Ooh, Mark Twain Cave. Yeah, we went there once. Too much junk in here. Dimples. In 52. Looks like it's a play. Yeah, it looks like Bob or Tom was in. It's our order of railroad. To lay you first. That's what I job I took. Railroad to lay you. So after Gem City, you went, went back home to work for the railroad, road. and they put me on the extra board for the Illinois division between McCook in Chicago, all the way down to Fort Madison. I could work at all those little kick stations along the way. I worked at Dallas City, Lomax, Stronghurst, Toluca. Worked there, and then on further up, I worked at Streeter, I worked in Joliet, and in Chicago, McCook. And I stayed at Ralph and Margaret Murray's house in Chicago. Hmm. I was on my own. <laughs> oh, what we got? Krula and Austin? Yeah, her wedding, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's Art. Art when he got married. Oh, got Grandma Jordan again. I think this has been one of the strong girls getting married. So it looks like. Yeah, these Richard are Richard Link. He yeah. was a friend of yours, right, Richard yeah. Link? Yeah, he was my classmate, Larry Bellman. If I could have went in the service, I'd have been with that group. <laughs> Probably. Now they you band. didn't get accepted because of your arm. Arm, right. I even tried the navy and they wouldn't take it. <laughs> that's cute. Now is that Tom? Yeah. That's how Lily was when I was getting married. <laughs> Too much job. Oh, here's our railroad magazine. But I think it's that group picture of us. Oh, pick it up. Grandma! I hear her. And then we got a letter here from... Dear Harold, when, when I was sick in the hospital. Oh, St. Joseph's back in 46. There's a whole bunch of them. Your schoolmate Dick. Were you, it looks like you were maybe sick and they all wrote yeah, you, wrote wrote you letters. letters. <laughs> it says 1946. That'd been... be a freshman. Yep, she would save everything. That should be the end of it. Well, that'll be the end, at least for today. So we'll, <laughs> we'll pick up some other day.